Let's take a look at how to find the mean on HP 49G calculator. First thing I need to do is go to my stat menu. So I'm going to do my red key and then 5 to access the stat. Comes up here, I want to choose single variable. So I'll do enter on that. Now, um, you probably, if you might have numbers here from before, how you can get rid of those, you do your purple and then this um, delete key here. And it pops up, it says delete value, reset all. I'll click reset all. Okay. Now we want to go into edit. We want to input our numbers. So I'm going to go over the edit right here. And I'll go to the button straight below it, which is F1. Okay, so then I'll do 13, enter, 19. Actually, I'll go back there. What I really wanted was for it to go down and it went went to the side. So let me put 19 here. 23. After it, after it sees a pattern and goes ahead and continues your pattern that you set up. So you don't have to down arrow and left arrow over on each each number. 45, 46, 47, 51, pressing enter after each one, and then 53, enter. Now if you press enter one more time, it'll save your numbers. It tells you which column it's working with. Now um, you could you could uh, right arrow over and highlight column and change that to whatever you want. I'm going to down arrow to type, and you see there's a choose option here. And if I go straight down below that, which is F2, it'll bring up this, and you can either choose to calculate sample or population. Now it doesn't matter for mean because the sample mean and population mean are the same formula. So I'll just go ahead and enter on that. Then I'll down arrow to this line and I want to go left arrow and highlight mean and I want to do this check mark here and again you do the button straight below it which is F3 and um, I'll just go ahead and you could go through and I have other things checked if you want but I want you to... <coughs> excuse me okay so I'll push the F6 that comes back and tells me my mean is 36.44 rounded two decimal places and then you can do a F6 the button right below the clear to clear that out. And that's how you find the mean on HP 49G calculator.